I chose Okanagan College because it's a two-year program. It's a lot shorter than all the other programs. You learn everything that you need to. It's just condensed. A lot of hands-on. We get probably on average close to 10 hours of lab time a week. Another reason I chose it is because of the Canadian Forces. I applied for the NCM SEP, which is the uh, non-commissioned member subsidized education plan. And they pay for school, they pay for books, tuition, uh, rent money, everything is paid for. And you get paid while going to school too. We have a fairly small program and the instructor to student ratio is quite high. So students get a lot of hands-on experience and a lot of oversight from instructors to make sure they're doing things right in the, in the beginning. And then as they get more and more experience, they've got a lot of opportunity to pursue their own interests within, within electronics. There's the regional skills competition, which I helped volunteer in that. That's only um, the high school level. Um, and then I participated as a competitor in the post-secondary level. Because I placed first in the BC skills competition, I get to go to Toronto and compete on a national level um, in electronics. I took an electrical class in high school, just basically turn on LED, which was actually really fun to me. <laughs> so that kind of leaned me in this direction. I love the electrical parts. I love building the circuits. I love designing them. It's incredible. And nowadays, programming is going to be everywhere. So that's a big bonus to learn the basics. It introduces you into the field, and it's a great start for your future. One of the benefits that I think is really important in in all the technology uh, programs here at the college is the ability to bridge into the engineering programs. And what's desired from more engineers these days is some a little bit of hands-on skills, some skills of actually being able to get in on the equipment and do what needs to be done rather than just the book skills. The hands-on is really the best thing. There's a lot of hands-on training, um, a lot of hands-on learning. Uh, the lab time is great, you know, anytime we're in the lab it's pretty much, you know, we're putting a circuit together, uh, testing it and, you know, learning some kind of theory, but learning it based on what's actually happening as opposed to just learning, you know, the theory behind it. So I think that's really one of the key parts about this program. I love the fact that as, a, as an electronics program we can sort of direct the focus and direct the, the, the way that the program can develop and evolve and we can bring our own interest to the program, so for example, I'm really interested in renewable energy and I've put together a solar panel that we use for powering one of our lab benches here in the lab and ideally it would have been nice to have um, to be able to, to power the entire lab with with solar energy but right now we're just using we're just using one lab bench as sort of a, a learning tool to help students learn about renewable energy. I would definitely recommend this program to anyone who's looking to further their education in electronics or even just start at the very basics because at the start of the course they assume everybody knows nothing coming into the course so if you don't know anything they will help you learn and progress very quickly. Uh, if you have any interest in electronics um, or you're looking for you know you have some interest in it at all and you're looking for a good program to come out of it and get you know rewarding enjoyable careers then yeah I definitely recommend it. Oh, well, I would recommend this program because it's hands-on, uh, it's great fun, you're learning something that's an expanding career, there's always going to be lots of jobs out there, um, and you know, you get learn great life skills while you're here too. Well, the student needs to have some academic skills, in particular math and physics are, are two of the ones that we, we use more in our program and also some interest in how things work. So I think the student that is intuitively interested in how does this work or you know, why does this, this happen when I, when I do these things, I think they make the type of candidate that we're looking for.